Hello, my name is Felix Klebe, Advanced Sensing Marketing Manager for Omron Automation Americas. I'd like to welcome you to this short series of Weblink tutorial videos for the MicroHawk Barcode Reader. These videos are designed to help you get the most value from your MicroHawk. Weblink is the browser-based configuration and viewing utility that lets you easily set up and monitor your MicroHawk Reader. The topic of this video is Weblink's match string functionality using the wildcard mode. Wildcard mode allows you to create custom matches using wildcards and placeholders. A wildcard is a single character that can act as one or more characters. By default, it's an asterisk. A placeholder is a character that can substitute for exactly one character and is indicated by a question mark as its default. You can use these wildcard and placeholder definitions when they input text into the match string database. For example, if you want to search for the word hawk in barcode data with any amount of characters before or after it, you type asterisk hawk asterisk. Let's look at an example. Earlier in the standard mode video, we mentioned that you had to have your reader in various modes such as triggered to enable the match string functionality. You can see we've enabled the match string functionality in the microhawk menu. Now we will go in and look at the different modes that are available. By default, or what we worked with last time, was the standard mode. We will now change it to the wildcard mode. Under the settings menu for wildcard mode, you can see the default characters, asterisk for wildcard, and question mark for placeholder. Now we have a match string database, which we will first indicate by typing asterisk, the word hawk, another asterisk, and now we will check a barcode to see if it's a match. You can see we have a barcode with the decoded information, microhawk2015. Each time I trigger, I'm getting a match because the asterisk before the H and after the K are letting us ignore the 2015 and the word micro. Now if we go back and we change the wildcard to eliminate the asterisk after the K, it would expect that there is no value or no characters after the word hawk. When I now trigger the reader, you can see that I'm getting a mismatch. Let's talk about placeholders. You can see the placeholder indicated here with the question mark. A placeholder is a symbol representing a single character of any type. If we replace the letter H with a question mark, which is the placeholder, it would ignore that second character, and as long as we had the H and the WK matching, we would get a positive match. Placeholders and wildcards can also be used together in the database input fields. The concepts of both are still the same. The final mode to talk about is sequential mode. So under mode, we would change from wildcard down to sequential. This is useful if we have a series of numbers, such as serial numbers, that are incrementing by, for example, a single digit. So it would look for the next digit in the sequence and would give us a match if we successfully incremented, say, from number 123 to number 124 in our sequence. That's all for today's tutorial. We hope you found it useful. Please check out our other MicroHawk tutorial videos to discover more ways to add value to your barcoding application.